investigate it, and it's a case that happened in Mexico, is very much related to the other cases, and that's why I want, you, I want to present this to you. Okay. In the first image, we have two creatures, two beings. This is time is 31 seconds, 13, uh, and you have two creatures like communicating to each other. Uh, one of them seems to be three-dimensional. Can we prove that? No. In the next image, this image was presented at the Rense site, uh, saying that this was a hoax. Uh, frame is 2,036 time, one minute and seven seconds, and we see this creature behind the, the, the plants and the tree, the leaves of the tree, and moving some kind of object. We concentrated in this besides the, 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 the shape of the, of the creature. If this is a host, then this creature, this dummy, has to be expensive because it's flexible and very credible, very, very good model. Or if it's real, of course. Then, as we an analyze that, we were able to to get the shape of the object. And uh, here we, we can see very clearly, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't stop. No. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Here you can see very clear the object that is hanging or moving with the right hand. You cannot see that in the original image. I believe this is somehow a proof that this is real. Otherwise, if you are going to host this, you will make it very evident whatever this is being done. But here we have some kind of instrument that is being handled by this creature. Here you have this image seven seconds later. It's like the, if the camera was surprised by the presence of this creature, like he moved the camera away from the place he was recording because this creature was getting closer the center of the shot is right here. This is the center, and the creature is here looking for him. Here is clearer. In the next shot, you can see... Oh. You can see that the creature... Is coming closer, looking for the man who is using the infrared. Okay? And the, the man is now on his knees trying to hide from this creature. <laughs> you see? I think these creatures can see in infrared. That's why. Now you see that the creature is going away. The last one was... Uh, uh, a minute and 40 seconds, that's 20 sec 26 seconds after the other. This is 34 seconds. He's still trying to hide, looking through the holes of the fence. And this creature is like going away. And finally we see the last picture, two minutes and 27 seconds from the beginning, and you see the craft coming from the, for them, and they are going away. For me, it looks very coherent. It looks like these six pictures relate a story. 
It's very easy to discredit them, very easy, but I think they are real. Next case. There were 50 people in a party in a farm outside Monterrey, Mexico, when uh, an animal went inside the farm. They didn't have a lamp, then they used the camera, the flash of the camera, to try to find the animal. They weren't taking pictures. You can see that clearly because you can see part of a car here. It's, it's more like they are trying to, to see through the light of the flash. But when you take this picture, and you can and you can really, with a Photoshop, try to light it up. You can see something strange. It's a way, but look into them. In the next, it's the same kind of thing. But now you see this creature, or whatever it is, going away, running. And in the third one, this man is trying to get the attention of the man with a flash, saying, look the animals inside. They are afraid. Put the light there. He is uh, Fernando Cárdenas. And the man with the camera is Ivan Geraldo Cisneros. And they got this picture, but then next day, they saw something in the back. You see, we have analyzed this. Could this be a dummy? Yes. Could this be a hoax? In the camera, in the image? No. It's not a hoax in the image. Exactly like the last case. It's not a hoax in the image. Can they be dummies? Yeah. It's very difficult to, to, to go against that. I mean, when, when you have so many cases, we have two so far. What's the size? Uh, we believe is uh, a yard or 80 centimeters, something like that. My friend Dan Iria, help me, who he's around, I don't know if he's here, but he made an analysis on these pictures, and his, his conclusion was that this was real. He couldn't say, again, if this is a dummy, or something like that, but was not hosted, hosted in the image. Yeah. Again, uh, according to the story that I heard, is that a man was trying to check his camera in a cemetery to see how good the camera was. That's what I heard. And he took this photograph where after he checked the photograph and he was able to see this, Again, what would be the reason just to hoax this? The, the, whole, uh, the pixels in the, in the creature are the same from the rest of the image, which means that this was not hoaxed, but it could be also a dummy. But now we have, what, three cases? And then... On July 2003, in Juarez, Mexico, a little girl took this photograph, a 14-year-old girl, inside her house. And there are three pictures. I just got one. When I went to make the investigation, uh, we found the girl in the hospital. She was very sick. I, I offered my help to the family, but they didn't want to, and they asked me not to get the girl involved in the investigation.
But I found many witnesses like these two young boys who had seen these creatures in the past around Juarez. They, I investigate, John Mack investigated this case and he said that the case was real. And these people are telling us that what they saw is exactly this outside Juarez on August 25, 1995. And that's exactly what they saw. Just the same, just the same. And again in Juarez, this picture was sent to Brian Bike in Canada, and Brian Bike sent it back to me because the letter was in Spanish. Uh, I check, and the plates on the car are from the state of Chihuahua. The car is uh, a Mexican Jetta, model 91 or 92. Uh, you can see this detailing here that is uh, characteristic for the Mexican cars. Then I concluded that this was taken very near the border in the desert area. Uh, this man didn't speak English. He sent the letter in Spanish, but he sent it to a, to a man in Canada. For that reason, he had to have friends, probably in the border, probably in El Paso, and that's why he sent, but he has kept his name anonymous. Then we have this. As you see, it's three-dimensional. It's a tall. I think it's very similar to the one in the cemetery. I don't know if it's similar from what some of the stories I have heard in here about the tall creatures in the desertic areas. But as you see, this looks very real. We have analyzed everything, and it doesn't, again, it is not a hoax in the image. It could be a hoax in the dummy, in the, in, the, in the creature by itself. But for what reason? This should be expensive to make a dummy this size. It should be very expensive. And finally, we have here the last case from Chile. Probably you've seen this picture before. It was taken in the Forestal Park, Parque Forestal, on May, again, May 2004 where you have this creature going through the horses or of two policemen. The two policemen were asked if they saw the creature. They said no, and because all the, the image is blur, even this, some people think is the best case because it's impossible to fake. And you have two policemen in daylight who could have seen the creature but they didn't. As we get close to it, it's very clear. It's a very small creature moving very fast in the middle of the two policemen. 